promoting a lead magnet, having a big sale, or maybe you just want a simple one-page website. In this tutorial, I'll teach you how to create one in Squarespace. My name's Becca Harpain. I'm the creator of InsideTheSquare.co, and in this video, I'll walk you through the step-by-step -step process of creating a single-page website in Squarespace. Now, we've got a lot to cover, so I'm going to go ahead and share my screen so we can get right to it. Here we are inside Squarespace, and these are the steps we're going to create. We're going to have multiple sections in this page, then we'll add an anchor for each section and create links to those anchors in our main navigation. Then I'll show you how to create a smooth scroll effect and how to hide the header and footer if that's what you want on this particular page on your Squarespace website. Here on this page, I've added an information section, an FAQ section. Let's hop into edit mode and we'll add one more down at the bottom. Let's go ahead and create a contact section. That one looks perfect. There we go. Now, what we need to do for each one of these sections is add an anchor so we can link to that specific section. For this one right here, we'll select Add Block. And here, I'll click on Code. Now, I want to pull this to the center of my screen, and it says Hello World, which is not what we want. So I'll double click on this. We're going to remove this filler text, and I'll say left caret div ID equals, and we'll call this one About. This is the About section of this page. I'll close that caret. Do another left one and a forward slash, and Squarespace will add the rest of the code DIV. Now, this is going to drive me bonkers, so I'm going to go ahead and adjust the setting here. All right, that's moved there. That's a little more center. Let's scoot that image up much better. All right, we've created our anchor link with the code right there. Now, we're going to hop onto the mobile view of our website, and we're going to make sure that code is the very top of the section, and it is. We can go ahead and move that image up, and you'll notice this code is invisible. So we can stack stuff on top of it. No one's going to see our anchor link. It's just us. And it's right here at the top of that section. Back in the desktop view, we'll add another anchor for the FAQ section. You need to add an anchor for every section you want to link to. So select Add Block. We'll grab a code block. We'll pull it to the middle. Double click on it. Remove that filler text and say Div ID equals. And this one we'll just call FAQ. And then we'll go ahead and close it like that. I'll zoom in on the screen here so you can see our code. And there we go. Now, once again, let's hop into the mobile view and make sure it's front and center. Perfect. We'll scoot these other pieces of content up over that code block. Again, it's not visible to anyone on the site, just to us in edit mode. And we'll hop back to the desktop view. Let's link to the brand new anchors we've created. Oh, let's make one for the contact section and then we'll link to them. How about that? Here we'll select add block. We'll go ahead and grab a code block, move it to the center, double click, and we'll call this one div ID equals contact. There we go, and we'll close it. Perfect. Let's double check mobile. Here we are in mobile view. The code is scooted down, so we're going to pull it up to the top so it's at the very center. And let's go and move that form up as well, and we are good to go. All right, so we've added new sections. We've added an anchor to each section, and now here's the fun part. We're going to create links for those anchors in our main navigation. I'll select Save and select Exit, and I'll show you how to do this in Squarespace. Notice I don't have any links in my main navigation. Let's click on Website, click this plus sign, and we'll add a link. The first link will title About. And because I'm linking to this from the exact same page as the only page of my website, all I have to do is say hashtag About, and it will link to that About section. And we'll select Save. Let's go ahead and add one for the FAQ section. We'll title this FAQ, and we'll say link to FAQ, and select Save. And then we'll do one more, an active link to Contact. And down here, we'll say Contact. Now, I want you to notice this hashtag symbol right here, that was not inside the anchor link we created. This is our way of telling the browser we're going to an anchor. That's what that hashtag stands for, okay? So we'll select Save. Let's go ahead and rearrange these so it goes about, FAQ, and contact. And let's test our link. Watch what happens when we click on contact. That section is pulled to the top of the browser window. Now we can click on about, and that section will be pulled on the top. And FAQ, that takes us right to the FAQs. This even works on mobile devices. If we open up the menu and select contact, that will be pulled to the top of the screen. Now, one thing I wanted to mention was this smooth scroll effect. Notice when I click about how it scrolls to that section, that's actually some CSS that makes that magic happen. If you click into website and select website tools, you can access your custom CSS. This is where I've added a code to create that smooth scroll. 
if I remove this code and we click on something, it jumps to it automatically rather than a smooth transition. So you'll need to add this code to your website if you want it to be a smoother transition to each one of those anchor links. Now let's say you're creating a landing page and you don't actually want to have the header and footer, but you want some internal navigation like an FAQ button. That's something that we can definitely create with code. We'll hop into edit mode, we'll select add block, and we'll add a button to this section right here. This learn more, let's say this links to the about section. I'll click on the edit option here and I'll say anchor, about and now we'll link to the about section we'll select save and exit and then we're going to hop into our website menu and open up the page header code injection for the single page i clicked on that gear icon and i'll select advanced because we can have multiple types of code in a page header i'm going to say style saying this is a style code and then i'll say header comma footer sections display spelled correctly there we go Display none, exclamation point, important. Now I'll go ahead and save this. And notice the header is gone and the footer is gone too. Let's go ahead and hop into edit mode and scoot this button down just a little bit more. I don't want it to overlap with that text. There we go. We'll go ahead and go to full screen. And as soon as we click this learn more button, the about section will be pulled to the top. So if you wanna create a landing page with internal linking, hide the header and footer using page header code injection. I'll show you one more time under website. Click the gear icon for the page you're editing, and under advanced, you'll need to enter this code right here. Underneath this video, you'll find a link to my original blog post for this tutorial, where I've outlined all the steps that we just took, and I included an example anchor link, and that HTML code for the smooth scroll effect, just in case you want to try that on your own Squarespace website. Again, that's the blog post that's linked in the description below. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I truly hope you enjoyed it. If you did, definitely sign up for my email list at insidethesquare.co forward slash email. Thanks again for watching. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. Find everything you need to make Squarespace uniquely yours at insidethesquare.co. That's insidethesquare.co.